Alrighty. Welcome, everybody. Be starting up in a couple minutes here. Um, we managed to make it through the asylum, so that was good. Uh, game went pretty well. If you haven't checked that out, I'll be sure to post a link to the previous playthrough in the description of this video. Alrighty. Welcome, everybody. Be starting up in a couple minutes here. Just getting a couple things ready here. Alright, and here we are. So, as you can see, I've gone through and filled out the campaign log here. We can see a copy of the deck here. Nothing too special. Oops. Uh, just so you can see every card there. Sorry, there's an airplane flying over my apartment building right now. As far as deck changes go, nothing too crazy. Um, just upgraded my two copies of Lucky to Lucky Level 2, and finally remembered to update all of the various um, weaknesses and assets that I've gained over the course of the campaign. Uh, we are going into this scenario with two doubt, which means um, that we will be following the rules for doubt rather than conviction. So Doom will be accumulating as normal, which is nice. Okay, um, so yeah, so nothing too, nothing too crazy with the deck. Um, as you can see, I've got it all set up over here. Just give you a quick look here real quick. That's the new weakness that we have to add into the deck going forward. And let's go ahead and take a look at the act and agenda here real quick. So I haven't done any of this yet, so I believe you have to take these. Yeah, see, so add these to the encounter deck. Let's just do that real quick here. Give that a shuffle. And then this is the act deck that we go with. All right, so, so we either need two clues or on turn four, this will advance. And then it advances as normal since we are since we are doubtful that we will be making through this. All right. Uh, with that all out of the way, we'll just go ahead and set up the locations here. Oops. Go ahead and shuffle those out. Same with this location. Uh, for anyone that watches my YouTube channel, probably knows that I'm terrible at French, so I'm not even going to try. Alright, so those will go out of the way here. Just put them over here. Okay. Um, so we start, I believe, here. Let me just double check. 
Uh, yes. Yep. So that's where you start. Okay. So we'll go back to there. We'll go ahead and flip this over. So that spawns with a clue and it lets us move to any rail location, which I believe is here and here. I don't think, oh, and as well as here, but that's not too, too relevant. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw our opening hand here. I'll give this a shuffle. All right, so we'll go ahead and replace this. Ooh, so we have our two best assets. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these three cards away. We'll go ahead and draw three new ones. Ooh, so we have a really good hand here. Go ahead and put those back. We'll go ahead and shuffle up here. And yeah, sorry about the noise. Um, yeah, it's annoying living near an airport. Okay, so we're on turn one here. So there are action counters. And I believe everything is good to go. So let's uh, let's go ahead and dive into the game here. Uh, let's use our first action and two resources to play cornered. We're going to use our second action, two more resources to play Madame Lebranche. And with our last action, hmm. Let's go ahead and we could investigate four versus four. I don't really like that too much. Let's go ahead and let's move and investigate with Duke with our last action here. So while well, Bayaki is moving, if there's an investigator here, that enemy is considered or that enemy's location is considered to be connected to this location. It has a victory point and spawns with a clue, which is sweet. Let's go ahead and move back here, spending our last action and using Duke. Uh, I didn't even check the shroud. That's a three shroud. So three versus four. Uh, I think I'm also gonna go ahead and pitch this take heart to cornered for plus two. So that's gonna be six versus three. Caspic says skull, which I forget what that is currently. That is a minus zero currently. I'm just gonna put one of these right over here real quick. All right, so we pass. So we get this clue and a victory point. That's a good way to start off our game here. We'll get this clue. And then that is, uh, that's our turn. And moving into enemies, enemy phase, there's no enemies. And whoops, and upkeep. We will gain a resource and draw a card. We draw the tattered cloak. Which is a pretty good draw, honestly. All right, so that was turn one. Uh, turn two, let's go ahead and add a doom to the agenda here. And then let's draw our encounter card. We draw Twisted to his will. All right, uh, there is doom. So we test willpower X, where X is the amount of doom, which is one to our currently four. So we'll go ahead and test one versus four here. We get whoo minus three. Wow, we are lucky to have passed that. All right, so that was our encounter phase, and moving into investigation phase here. Let's hmm. let's use our first action and our resources to play the tattered cloak. So we have minus one insanity, but we get 
plus one willpower, plus one combat, and plus one agility, which is pretty sweet. And uh, we have no resources, so I'm going to use my normal branch to gain a resource. And let's see here. So that was our first action. We have two actions left. I think I know generally where I want to go. We need five clues, if I remember correctly, to get through this scenario. So let's... I'm going to use my second action to move and investigate with Duke. We'll go here. I'll go ahead and flip this over. So this is a three shroud location with one clue, and each enemy at Notre Dame gets minus one fight and plus one evade. Okay, so that's not too bad. So we're using Duke. Go ahead and that's our second action. And then we are testing three versus four currently. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's just test three versus four here. Uh, Chaos Bike says another skull, which is a minus one currently, so we pass. So we'll get this clue. All right, so we can advance here. Or we could wait, I believe. I believe you can wait. Yeah, you just have to spend the clues. Okay. Um, so we, we have a turn. We could wait. Um, waiting helps us uh, plan out a turn where we can hopefully like move, move, and put a clue. Or move, move, and engage. The organist and then he'll disengage and hopefully not move so let's let's just wait a turn for now so we have the clues we need I'm just gonna separate these just for convenience's sake uh, we have one action left and a resource um, am I really ever gonna play these track shoes I guess is the question uh, hmm. I could always get them back with a resourceful too. Now we could try to move and investigate another location to try to get some clues. And then I don't hate it, so let's let's do that. Let's discard this to ready Duke, and then we'll use our last action to move and investigate again. And we're going to move up here. So we're testing three versus four currently. And when our turn begins, if we're here, draw a card group limit once per round. So, all right, so it's also a clue. Three versus four. Uh, Do I want to commit resourceful right now? I think I'm going to hold on to this right now. And we'll just test three versus four here. Ooh, and we get a plus one. Nice. All right, so we get the clue. And then that will be our turn. So we'll go ahead and move into upkeep. We will ready our stuff. We will gain a resource and draw a card. Okay, it's a pretty good hand. Moving into turn three here. We'll go ahead and add the second Doom to the agenda. And we'll go ahead and draw our encounter card. Ugh, gross. So this spawns engaged with us. So we could try to reasonably evade it. We do have the resources and the bit and means to do that. So evading isn't a terrible option here. 
Um, but let's let's go ahead and remember to do this. So let's draw a card when our turn begins. And we draw an overpower. Okay. So we could try to fight this thing and kill it with Duke. We're currently at a five, so it'd be five versus five, and then we could commit this for seven. Or we could use some resources. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's first action. We are going to tap this. And then we will commit over power. It'll be seven versus five. And I think I'm also going to use Resourceful. We're going to try and get back those track shoes. All right, so that's going to be five. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight versus five here, Gaussbeck says. Minus one. All right, cool. So this Bayaki will eat the dust. That was our first action. Uh, we were successful, so we get to choose a card, and we will choose Track Shoes. Okay, that was our first action. Uh, second action, I think we want to... We could discard this and move, and investigate, which I don't hate. Um, let's... Yeah, let's do that. We're not I don't think we're gonna trigger Madame Branch this turn, but that's okay. So we're gonna do this to discard a card, and then we'll um use Duke again with our second action here. And then we're gonna move mm, I believe we wanna go here first. I believe that place has two clues. Actually, no, let's go here first. Yeah, we're pulling the trigger. We're going to flip. Yeah, it's two clues. And then we can't leave it until the end of the round. That's fine, however. So one shroud. We're testing currently a four. Yep, so it's going to be a four versus uh, four versus one here. Guess what it says? Minus two. We pass. We'll go ahead and grab a clue here. Okay. And then last action, let's try to investigate uh, one versus two. And we'll just raw dog it. Wow, and another plus one. Nice. We're doing pretty good here. We get this last clue, and that's our second victory point in only two turns. So that's pretty sweet. I'm feeling pretty good about this so far. All right, um, let's go ahead and spin these clues, however. So there's one and two there. And we're going to advance at the end of our turn. I know this is generally unwise, but that's all right. All right, so go ahead and flip this over. We spent clues to advance. And we put the set aside organist enemy, draped in mystery, uh, face up and advanced attack to pursuing shadows. All right, so let's go ahead and find the organist here. And we'll flip him over. At our location. So I'm just going to put him in my hand for now. Okay, and then after you successfully attack the organist, an investigator at your location may place one of their clues on the organist uh, group limit once per round. And if there are three clues on the organist, advance. All right, so that's our goal, is just to put clues on this guy. Uh, this is two Doom of Six currently, and we are at the end of the investigation phase here. So he's aloof. So he would spawn here. And then at the end of the enemy phase, if he's unengaged, 
So he would move, right? So at the end of the enemy phase, if, the or if he's unengaged, move him one location away from the nearest investigator. So we're going to move him here. And if, it's, if he's engaged, disengage him. OK. All right, so that was our turn. So let's go into upkeep here. Upkeep, we will ready Duke. We will gain a resource and draw a card. And we will move into turn four here. And we'll put the third doom here. And nothing else happens, fortunately, because we already advanced the actic here. So, all right. So let's draw our encounter card. Our encounter draw is Frozen Fear. Ugh. Who likes this card? Seriously. All right. Well, this stinks. Um. Hmm. Well, thankfully, we can probably pass that willpower test pretty easily. Let's go ahead and we'll spend our three resources Oops. and our first action to play track shoes. And let's see, second action. Now this makes fight, move, and evade east cost an additional action. Okay. Um, hmm. So we want to move here, and that would cost us two actions. So that would be the rest of our turn. Um. Hmm. We could move and investigate. So I'm not sure how this quite works. Um, if moving costs an additional action, but Duke is an investigate action, I would assume that moving is just one action with Duke. So that's the ruling I'm going to go with, and I will just let whoever is verifying um, change uh, make the make the call regardless. So okay, uh, so I'm going to move and investigate that location. So let's go ahead and move and investigate. So it's a four versus uh, four currently, and then after you evade an enemy here, move that enemy to a connecting location, which we do not want to do. So let's, so we're testing four versus four. And I'm going to, hmm. I don't know if I want to just commit this for unexpected courage or if I just want to hold on to it. Uh, let's, let's discard it to cornered for two wild icons. So that's going to be a six versus four to investigate. An elder thing, which is a minus two. So we pass, thankfully. And we get that clue. Nice. OK, so let's get this clue here. So now we're just getting clues for the sake of victory points. And let's remember to tap Duke. All right, so doing anything other than engaging. I'll take a horror if I engage him, which is probably OK. Um, hmm. Not that I have much horror to spare, but. Uh, hmm. Because otherwise he's going to move again, and then we're going to have to move. So if we disengage him, or if we engage, he'll disengage. Or he'll, hmm. Let's... I think I'm okay with him moving for now. So let's, let's use Madame LeBranche to draw a card before I do anything else. 
Ooh, that was a pretty good draw. All right. Um, and then I guess with our, oops, I don't know why I discarded that frozen in fear. That was my bad. That should be still in my threat area. All right. Uh, last action. Let's. Yeah. Let's. Um. Let's gain a resource with our last action, and then at the end of our turn, we'll test Frozen in Fear. It's gonna be a three versus five. Minus four. Wow. Okay. All right. So we did not succeed. And then let's go ahead and move to enemy phase. This guy will move. I guess we'll put him here. And let's move to upkeep. We will ready our stuff. Oops. Gain a resource and draw a card. Live and learn. It's good to have with this in play. All right, we'll refresh our actions, and we'll move into turn five here. So it's four doom, and then we'll draw our encounter card. Another Bayaki. So we use Hunter, Retaliate, and then we, we'd move, instead move it one location until it enters its praise location. If it moved more than one location, it does not attack. Ugh. All right, well, this is stinky, to say the least. Uh, we could spend our turn killing it, which I think we're going to have to do. So I guess we'll spend our first two actions to fight. We're fighting this four versus two. Um, yeah, four versus two, no modifiers. Skull, I believe that's a minus three currently. A minus four? Yeah, minus four, gross. All right, well, that sucks. Um, let's live and learn. We'll try it again. Uh, so it's going to be six versus two. And that's still a minus four, so that time we pass, fortunately. So this will take two damage. And let's see here. I have to fight it again. So I'm going to fight it again. And then we're going to spend two resources with a Scrapper to give us plus two combat. And then we'll do that. We'll gain another resource. So we're testing four versus two, Chaos Big says. Oh my god, wow. Well, that sucks. So that was our turn. And then at the end of our turn, we'll test Frozen in Fear again. It's going to be uh, three versus five, Chaos Bug says. <laughs> wow. Wow, are you kidding me? Okay. Well, that sucks. All right, so enemy phase, this guy will hit us for a damage and a horror. Which I'll just put on Matt and Lumbranch here. Okay. All right. Oh, that stinks. And then I believe this guy will move again. He's unengaged yet, so he's going to move one location away from the nearest investigator. So he's going to move here, and then that stinks, and then we'll move into upkeep. Okay. So we'll gain a resource and draw a card. Overpower. We'll go into turn six here. Five Doom of Six. And we'll draw an encounter card of 
Marked by the sign. Test willpower two if we fail, take two horror. Alright, so two versus five here, Chaos Bag says. Whew. Just barely pass. Wow. Okay. Alright, so investigation phase here. Let's I guess fight with Duke. Might as well. I know it's a little excessive, but I guess it's a plus two. And then we'll overpower. And we're gonna fight this Bayeki again. I believe that also uh it has retaliate too. So I should have taken another attack as well. Which we'll go ahead and put on Duke. My apologies. I did catch that. And then I would have taken another retaliate as well. Because I live and learned. Gross. Okay. Well, that was fun. All right. So we're testing six versus two here. Chaos Bug says... Whew, wow. Finally, some good luck. So we get to ready Duke. This guy will die. Took long enough. I took two of our actions this turn. And then I guess we'll use our last action to play Arcane Studies. Which uses the last of our resources. And then we will use Madame LeBranche to draw a card. We draw a last chance. Okay. So that was our turn. Uh, end of our turn, we'll test three versus five. I kind of want to commit this. Uh, hmm. And now let's just test three versus five. Let's just hope for the best here. There's three skulls in the bag, so like this would, yeah. Let's. <laughs> I'm second guessing myself. Let's let's commit last chance for plus five. That's gonna be ten versus three here. It's just very excessive, but we pass. All right. So that was our that was a turn enemy phase. Uh, this guy moves again. Oh my goodness, we're running out of time here. All right. So that was enemy phase. We'll move into upkeep phase. We'll ready Madame LeBranche. We'll gain a resource. Draw a card. We draw a man in the pallet mask. So let's see. He's going to spawn, I believe, here. Right, one, two, three. Or one, two, three. He could spawn here as well, I believe. Um, actually, I think, let's see, that'd be one, two, you could spawn here, here, or here. Um, I guess let's, let's just spawn them here. Okay, so that was our turn. Uh, let's add a, we're on turn seven here. And the agenda will advance. Flip this over and give it a read. Each investigator disengages from each engaged enemy and may move to a connecting location and then move the organist one location away from the nearest investigator. Mm. So yeah, so let's let's do that. Let's move here. And then we can move him here. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. And then I believe that's it. Yep. And then our new objective, we just have, just have five more turns here. Okay. So nothing new happens. 
So we have five more turns until the act advances again. And then we'll draw our encounter card, which is a Hunted by Bayaki. Test Agility 6, we currently have an Agility of 4. Uh, if we fail, reveal the top X cards of the encounter deck where X is the amount we've failed by. And if a Bayaki is revealed, we draw it. And if an Omen Treachery is revealed, we take a Horror and then shuffle the encounter deck. All right, so let's... Oh, wait, actually, plus one here. Let's go ahead and... So it's one, two, five. So five versus six here. Let's just test five versus six. Chaos Bike says, Elder Thing, if you fail, lose one resource by each point you fail by. Gross. All right, so we have to... So that was two. We were down, so we have to reveal three cards. So we take a horror. Yeah, so we take a horror and we have to we have to draw this. Fun. And that gets shuffled and then we draw this. Fun. Now let's assign our horror here. Ay ay ay. Guess we'll put it on Duke. Uh, this is this is going uh, swimmingly now. So many freaking Bayaki everywhere. So we could reasonably evade uh, five versus three, and then just try to get out of here. And we can catch catch up with track shoes, which I don't hate. Let's look at the map real quick here. So he's all the way over here. Ooh, we right. We get to draw a card. Ha ha. Aha! Uh -huh. So let's draw a card here. We started our turn at that location. An improvised weapon. Not the best card. But let's let's go ahead and try to evade this guy here. Uh, skulls are skulls are basically nothing now. So so the only thing we have to worry about is a minus two. So for now, let's let's evade. With our first action. Oops. <laughs> so let's evade. Uh, it's going to be five. So three, four, five versus, uh, versus three here. And we draw a minus two. So he is evaded. Okay. And then let's go ahead and we will move. Yeah, let's move. And then we're going to uh, use track shoes. And we're going to test agility three versus five. Guess back says minus one, so we pass. And then we're going to move up here. And I'm going to be super greedy and try to get all these victory points. All right, so that was my turn. So that was my second action. It was evade, move. And then it's three shroud. I believe I can use Duke to do that. So, right? Because this is just whenever you move. So that'll be my second action, is to move and investigate with Duke. And we're going to test, I believe that's three. Yep, yeah, three versus four. And I will discard improvised weapon to corner for plus two. So it's going to be a six versus three here. Caspeg says zero. Very nice. We pick up a clue. I believe there's a forced effect as well.
Uh, I was supposed to take two horror or shuffle, so I guess I'll just take two horror because I fucked that up. Uh, kind of stinks. I can't take two horror. So let's just go ahead and we'll discard this. All right, because after I reveal it, I'm supposed to. Oops. Supposed to do this. So I either have to take two horror, or shuffle all non weakness cards from my hand into my deck, and then draw an equal number of cards. So this would have gotten shuffled actually. So let's just fix there real quick. My apologies. And the game plan is going to be the same regardless. And we'll just draw one card here. And then, yeah, same same game plan. We'll just discard. We'll do that. And I'll, I'll chest again. Okay, so we pass. I drew an elder sign that time. Apologies for correcting the game state. Um, I've had to do that a couple times already, this playthrough. But that should be correct, and then I get this clue. And then I have one action left. I would get to ready Duke from the elder sign. but I'm not going to do that because I originally drew a minus three, but just wanted to get the game state correct in that regard. Okay, so uh, last action. Oops, uh, last action. Let's just go ahead and move here. Okay. All right, so that was my turn. It was evade, move two locations and investigate with this and this, and then move. Enemy phase. This guy will ready. Um, let's see here. And then this guy will move one location away. He's aloof. He doesn't do anything. And then we'll move into upkeep. Go ahead and ready these. I apologize for the noise. Uh, we'll go ahead and ready those. We'll draw a card. And I missed a Metal of Bronze trigger, so that stinks. All right, well, that was a weird and kind of convoluted turn, but let's move into turn eight here. I'll go ahead and put a Doom in the agenda, and then we will draw an encounter card. All right, false lead. If you have no clues, it gains surge. If you have one or more clues, test will or test intellect four. For each point you fail by, place one of your clues on your location. That is gross. All right. I have, let's see, I have one, two, three, five clues. And I need three, so I can't fail this by two. So I'm gonna discard this plus two. That's going to put me at four. That's four versus four. Yeah, especially this five shroud location. Really do not want to lose a bunch of clues. So, so let's test four versus four here. Um, I could use Madeline LeBranche for another resource for five. Ay, ay, ay. I really don't want to lose a bunch of clues, so I'm going to do that, actually. So we'll gain a resource, and then I'm going to spend that resource to Arcane Studies. All right, so five versus four, Chaos Bike says. A skull, which is a minus one. Whew, wow. Okay, so I'm really glad I did that. Okay, so that was the Mythos phase, and then we'll move into Investigation phase here. All right, first action. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at the board here. We don't need any more clues, so we should not even consider that. Let's let's spend our first action to move, and then we're gonna use track shoes. So we'll move, we'll use track shoes. 
That's going to be an agility test of three versus five. Chaos Bag will say auto fail. Gross. Okay, so we fail, so we don't get an extra move. All right. Um, let's then move here. We'll flip this over. This is our second action. And let's see here. So that's our second action. We really can't afford to take a bunch of horror, which really sucks. We have exactly enough horror, but I don't want to spend a whole action to engage, which is the stinky part. Because if we if we spend an action to do engage, we just take a horror, and then we we really lose our chances of succeeding. So let's. Hmm. We could try to investigate the. The man in the pallet mask, which could help. It'd be a four, and we have really not much to to help us in that situation, unfortunately. Um, I guess with our last action, let's go ahead and draw a card. And then that'll be our turn. Okay. So enemy phase, this guy is going to move. I think I actually want to put him here. Put him in the gardens of Luxembourg. And then we'll move to upkeep. Do already our stuff. And then we will gain a resource and draw a card. Draw a resource. Well, it's a pretty good draw right now. Flip those over. And then let's go ahead and go to turn nine here. Go to the Mythos phase to Doom of Five. And we'll draw our encounter card of Spires of Carcosa. Ugh. Gross. Alright. Alright. So this goes. down here, and then we put two doom there. Ay ay ay, I believe that does not give us any time. Awesome. So we could spend our turn investigating that and try to, try to buy us some time. If I remember correctly, it's just, yeah, it's just at its base shroud of two. But I can't use, uh, I can't use Duke, unfortunately. So, hmm. We could just be okay with it. We have the clues we need to kind of just do this. So let's, let's just get it over with. We're just going to ignore that for now. We're going to move as our first action. We're going to engage as our second action. So it was move, engage. And then we fight. I believe, right? Because it's when you attack him. Yep. So when you attack him, you get to place a clue on him. All right, so we'll we'll engage and attack. Last action, move, engage, attack. So it's five versus three, and we'll make it six versus three. All right, six versus three. Casbeck says, uh, "Elder thing, which is a minus two, so we pass." We get to place a clue on him. All right. All righty. So, enemy phase. We're going to get hit for a horror. He's going to disengage us. 
And then uh, this guy should have moved, I believe, last turn. But that's neither here nor there, so we'll move him down here. And then enemy phase is over, and then we'll move into upkeep. We will gain a resource and draw a card. All right. Turn 10 here. This will cause this to advance because we have two Doom down here. So just quickly dump those. All right. So this will advance. Each investigator disengages from each enemy and may move to a connecting location. Move the organist one location away from the nearest investigator. And then we have to spawn Jordan Perry. Well, that stinks. All right, so I believe he spawns way down here. This gets discarded. And then he will move here. And I believe that's everything. Yep, that is everything. Okay. All right, so that was, that was all that. And then let's draw our encounter card. Another Spires of Carcosa. Wow. Wow, that is terrible. Wow, that really stinks. All right. Well, those will go there. <laughs> Running out of time here. Um, all right. So, we don't have much horror left to soak. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, alrighty. Well, let's let's just do the same thing over again. Let's spend our first action to move. We're gonna go here. We're gonna spend our second action to engage. Oops. We'll engage, and then we'll fight. And I'm going to go ahead and let's see, that's three versus five. Let's go six versus five here. Or six versus three, sorry. So four, five, six. Four, five, six. So it was engage and then fight. Wow, minus four. Are you kidding me? Oh, the wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because I, I put a resource in and I was plus two. So that was, wow. Wow, that's terrible. Okay, well, that was my turn. So enemy phase, we're going to get hit for a horror here. Um, I, can't, I can't take it anymore, so I will have to... Ditch metal branch. Oh, that sucks. Alright, and then he's gonna disengage us. This will move. Jordan, oh crikey. Forgot Jordan was gonna move and attack us as well. Oops, let's Oh yeah, yay. And then Duke is gonna Yeah, Duke's gonna have to. Well this sucks. Alright. Things could uh things could be going better, admittedly. Alright, so that was the enemy phase. Let's draw a card and gain a resource. Draw an arcane studies. All right, this is getting terrible. All right, turn 11. 
Uh, so that's our board currently. It's not very exciting. So let's do this. I believe that's three. Three doom? Yeah. Because there's two doom here. All right, well, let's draw our encounter card. What little time we... Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. Well... Uh... Alright. Well, I do not think that we are getting out of this alive. Alright. Let's spend two actions to evade. Uh, that's going to be two versus five. Yeah, two versus five here. Chaos bag will say minus one. All right, so we have a Jordan. Oops. All right, so Jordan gets evaded. It's like I could move and see if the organist moves. There's like there's no good locations for me to move to. That's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm running out of time. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I, I don't think it's happening. Not with what little I have left, unless I was to draw, like, a Peter next turn. Hmm. Okay, well, let's, I guess, let's use our last action to move. I don't really see what else we're doing here. Um, so yeah, we're going to move. And I guess we'll move here. Which is fine. And that'll be our turn. Yep, that'll be our turn. So let's test this. It's going to be 3 versus 5 again. And I'm going to discard Arcane Studies to make it uh, 7 versus 3 here. Minus 2, so we pass. This gets discarded. And then enemy phase. Dreaded enemy phase. This guy will ready. This guy will move. And this guy at the end of enemy phase will move away. Alright, that was enemy phase. Let's go into upkeep here. I'll gain a resource to draw a card. Hopefully it's Peter. It is not Peter. Well, that stinks. All right. Let's go into turn 12 here. Let's gain our actions back. That's Doom 4 of 5 here. So this is our last turn. Encounter card is... Black Stars Rise. Wow. <laughs> okay, I guess this is really our last turn. Alright. Uh, let's pitch this. For plus two. For cornered. So that's four versus four. And then we'll spend two resources. I guess we'll spend three resources, and we'll go three up on the test. So it's going to be seven versus four here. Let me draw a minus two. All right, so we pass. Uh, investigation phase. Let's see what we can do here. We're here. Like, we could try to buy us a turn by investigating here. And, like, we'd have to pass a four versus three, I believe. So that's the thing. Like we have to pass, we have to pass the test to move, and we have to pass the test to investigate. I'm so glad that my neighbor decided to uh, hang things up. All right, so let's. I guess because it's either do uh, like I can't, I can't do both, so I have to pick one. So let's move, and then we'll attempt to track shoes. 
So first action move, use track shoes, we'll discard, we'll discard cornered. That's going to be for plus uh, two. So it's going to be seven. Yeah, seven versus three here. Whew. That's why I committed that. All right, we passed. So we get to move here. Second action, let's investigate. That's going to be four versus three. Four versus three, Kinspec says. Wow. Wow. Now it decides to be nice to us. So we'll remove that. And we could. We can't really test again. We don't have anything to use. Um, like the only token that would get us anything is a plus one. Oops. So we could we could try to move down here, but then these enemies. So we we have to move. So let's let's move here, and that'll be our turn. And then enemy phase. Uh, this guy will move. I guess conversely, I could have them move this way. And then the organist can move this way. Okay. Whew. Bought ourselves a turn, guys. But barely. Okay. So that's, that's enemy phase. Let's move into upkeep. We'll regain a resource. Radio track shoes and draw a card. We draw Madame LeBranche. Okay. And then we'll go into turn 13 here. Still a Doom here, keep that in mind. And that is Doom 4 of 5. So we are really running out of time here. So this is actually my last turn. Counter card is a yellow sign. So this could straight up kill us if we fail. So that's fun. Uh, test willpower 4, currently have a 5. We fail, take two horror, and search our deck for a badness weakness. Uh, I'd rather not have another mental trauma, so let's discard Mana LeBranche to cornered. That's going to be six, seven versus three here, or seven versus four. I'll do seven versus five. Yeah, we'll do seven versus five. Or seven versus four, sorry. So it'd be right six. Oh, sorry, seven, eight. Oops. So yeah, we'll do seven versus four. Whew, minus two. All right, we passed. So we have a resource. So we'd have to move, engage, and fight. Remove, engage, and invade, which either of those sounds good. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I don't like any of these options. Like, I really, I don't think I'm going to win this scenario. So let's, let's just hope for the best outcome. I'd rather not die to a mental trauma, that would suck. Um, hmm. I guess we could just move really far. Like, like one, two, three, I guess. And then doom out. Not a, not a very compelling option, but I, I don't remember exactly what happens if you, if you doom out on this scenario, but but I think, unfortunately, that's what's going to happen. I think we just spent too much time being frozen in fear. But we did we did manage to get all the clues, at least. Uh, right, so I'm going to move with my first action. I'm going to move with my second action. So I guess I'll 
move and then I'll use track shoes because why not? So we're going to test three versus five. Chaos Bag says, I believe that's amount of doom and play total. That's at minus three, minus four rather, so we fail. So that was one action, two action, and then third action we'll move again. Because that was here, so one, two, and then three. All right, so enemy phases would move. This guy would move away. We'd go into upkeep. And this is all technicality at this point, but we'd go there, and then I'd draw a card and gain a resource. And then that would be the game, because I would doom out at this point. So, whoops, actually. On turn 14, I doom out. Ah. Let give everyone a quick camera seizure here. All right, so we get to resolution three, unfortunately. All right, so that's the game. Uh, didn't go terribly. I was hoping to uh, to advance the act, but. It is what it is. We only got one clue on the organist. So let's just check resolution three here real quick. Resolution three. So we were unable to find Nigel. And keep the bag the same. And then we earn four experience. Right, I believe. Let's just double check here real quick. Oh, that would probably help. So yeah, so there was a victory point here. There's a victory point here. Victory point here and a victory point here. So that's four total. So yeah. So that was my run of... A Phantom of Truth. It didn't go terribly. I was hoping that we would um, we would find Nigel, but it is what it is. All right, guys. Well, until next time, uh, I will see you all the next time you are all lost in time and space. And until then. <laughs>